The meaning of the word potlatch is to dance, feast, and give gifts to everyone in attendance. Sometimes, naming ceremonies, marriages, birth announcements, and other important business takes place during the potlatch. For the Kwakwakiwak people on the west coast, potlatches have taken place since time immemorial and are essential to who they are. It was during the residential school era in 1883 that the anti-potlatch proclamation was issued and January 1st, 1885, it became law, with the government citing that these First Nations traditions were keeping them from becoming civilized. The ban lasted until 1951, but during that time, many nations took this ancient practice underground and continued their culture, however, risked jail time if caught. Now, a new art exhibit called Keeping the Song Alive at the Bill Reed Gallery is showcasing 100 recordings done in 1947 of potlatch songs, and now these recordings are being shared with the public. Cheryl Kakasalos Wadhams is the Indigenous guest curator. It starts with uh, a woman by the name of Ida Halpern and um, Chief Billy Asu and Chief Mungo Martin and their collaboration uh, of um, recording songs, uh, traditional Kwakwakiwak songs back in the late 40s. The exhibit features viewing stations that allow users to wear headphones and watch videos of potlatches. At that time, you know, there was a great loss of language, um, there was a loss of culture, um, a loss of our, our way of life, and it greatly impacted our nations um, as a whole. For Cheryl, she says it's all about sharing these ancient songs with future generations. We basically pulled this exhibition together uh, along with community members from the Kwakwakiwak Nation um, to kind of uh, reflect on um, their reaction towards um, the songs and what they have done uh, for our people. Keeping the Song Alive runs until March the 19th, 2023 at the Bill Reed Gallery. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.